open at 6. Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you have found ways to stay dry because the rain looks like it's going to be settling in for quite some time, especially for this afternoon. You can see the live radar right now across much of the southeast. That main line is dipping down across portions of northern Mississippi down into much of central Mississippi now and pushing ever so close into our area. We've been dealing with rain for much of the morning or much of the day, really, as the main line really starts to push in. We've still been seeing a lot of pop-up showers and thunderstorms, especially in our western Alabama viewing area. So a lot of us here in Lardo County are hearing a couple rumbles of thunder, but people out in Butler, Demopolis, and Livingston are going to be seeing it for much longer and have been seeing it for much longer. But if you look out towards the west, out into Forest Bay Springs, Newton, into Union, up into Carthage, you haven't seen a drop of rain and haven't been uh, dealing with much. It looks fairly nice, but it's definitely been very humid for y'all out there. The rain, the good news about the rain, it has been cooling us off here and especially for a lot of us here over in York, Cuba, Livingston, Demopolis, down into Pennington, Linden, into Butler. You're seeing a lot of heavy rain across much of our western Alabama viewing area, Sumter and Choctaw County. You're going to be dealing with heavy showers and thunderstorms for just a little bit longer as they'll continue to push off into the East Meridian. Did hear a couple rumbles of thunder and a slight uh, shower did really just pop up over the course of just the last 45 minutes. So it was very off and on. It's one of those storms that really you, uh, you just see uh, rain on one side of the town and not on the other but today we're going to be seeing a slight risk zone stay more towards the north as it goes until about 10 p.m. tonight when that main line finally pushes through we'll be in the clear for as uh, into the evening hours now tomorrow things really start to come back again actually we're going to be looking at another round of severe storms tomorrow afternoon around 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the time frame so roughly the same timing as today we're all in that slight risk zone actually for the day tomorrow with the main uh, risks actually being large hail and strong winds but let's see exactly what we'll be expecting for tomorrow. So we're going to start here at 7 p.m. A lot of us still dealing with scattered showers and thunderstorms as the main line pushes through. Most of us could be seeing a isolated shower into the evening hours, but most of the heavy rain was to stay off towards the southwest of us. So let's be fairly nice and fairly dry at least into tomorrow morning around 5 a.m. You're waking up to start your day. Let's be fairly nice, but as we go throughout the day, we start to see more showers and thunderstorms start to pop up around the early morning to mid-afternoon hours. The heaviest rain roughly around that 1 p.m. time frame. We'll start to see uh, storms start to push in from the west to the east. So be very cautious about that. We'll start to see them push out around that 8 p.m. time frame. But by 3 p.m., they looks like, it looks like they could be settling in. The good thing is temperatures do cool off quite a lot because of the rain. And we sure do need that because today we had that high of 93, low of 72. Don't believe that 0.17 inches of rain today because we are going to be seeing plenty more of it throughout the rest of the day. So by 10, we should have a more up-to-date um, rainfall total for you as the rain does continue to push into our area. But nowhere close to 100. And we're not going to be seeing it for the next seven days as well. You can see into tomorrow, Sunday, we are watching for the threat of severe weather. It makes you feel like it's kind of April right now, but I promise you it's not. We're still in July with those temperatures. You wouldn't believe it, though. Upper 90 or upper 80s, low 90s across our board. We do get a little bit of a break from the rain into the later part of next week, but just stick with it. The rain, the good thing about the rain is that it actually does cool you off quite a lot. 